Disney Holidays in Hollywood! Yay! I am Kermit D. Frog, here with the fabulous Miss Piggy, and we are so honored to be co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. I'm sure! Yes, tis moi! <laughs> this holiday season. It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight. Oh, right. I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just honoring everyone here with my presence tonight. Well, I guess that's the spirit of the holidays, isn't it? Uh, sure. Uh, let's go with that. Uh, but when I think about what the holidays mean to me, it's sharing the magic of the season with the ones we love most. Aww, and that's why you're here with Ma tonight, mm -hmm. isn't it, Kami? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you see, uh, <clears throat> we're here because uh, because we were both invited. Uh, yes, and because there's no better place to spend the holiday season than Walt Disney World. Sure, dear. Well, when I think about what Christmas means to me, Presents? Really? Just presents? There's so much more to the holiday season than gifts, isn't there? Well, sure, but come on! We're literally standing in a pile of presents! Clothes, shoes, and toys for all the little piggies and froggies out there who dream of being just like you and Paul! out on the best parts of the holidays. Sure, this is the season of giving. Ah, the season of giving me gifts. Pretty sure that's receiving. But what I'm trying to say is that some gifts don't come in boxes and pretty paper. That's a great point, Carter. And maybe all those children out there are looking for the kind of gifts that live inside here. Yeah, like Kermit's warm heart and generosity. Or your... Uh, bold sense of self-confidence, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Aww, thank you so much for noticing. Wait, who are you again? Now, these are just a couple of friends who've come to help us put on a great show this evening. Come on, everybody. Here. I don't make the rules. I'm just the talent. <laughs> Wait, you are the talent? <laughs> yes, Piggy. This is... Brandy. And... Bobby. And there are fellow co-hosts for this evening. Our fellow what? How many hosts does this show need? How big is your trailer? You're still coming with a jacuzzi did it because I explicitly asked for one and I did not get one. We'll be back, folks. Uh, probably. Okay, come on, Piggy. We better start digging our way out of here. You did? Oh, right. Let's <laughs> see, what do we got here? And we are out. That commercial, folks. This program is brought to you by Goofy's Candy Company. Your one-stop shop for stocking stuffers this holiday season. Have you ever had one of those days? Good evening, everyone. We are so delighted that you decided to choose us for your holiday TV special. Yes, we are. And you know, we just heard Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy talk about what the holidays mean to them. And to be honest, I think Miss Piggy was on to something about presents. So, in the spirit of giving, I would like to give you all the gift of stand-up comedy. Okay. <laughs> you don't have time for that. It's not that long of a commercial break. <laughs> but I'm We're really back good on that. in four, okay. three, okay. two, Welcome back, everyone. You know, when I was growing up, my family moved around a lot. So we spent Christmas at different places all over the country. Every year, it was somewhere new. New York, 
Chicago, New Orleans. Hey, my grandma grew up in New Orleans. Yeah, she used to tell all sorts of amazing stories about the Christmases down there. The bonfires, the smell of Creole food wafting out of every restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said on Christmas Eve, the best Revion dinner in all of New Orleans was at Tiana's Palace. Oh, yeah. she's so right. That place has the best beignets, and it's such a party at Christmas time. Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> Naveen, Mama, Lottie Lewis, and Santa, of course. There's nothing like the smell of warm cookies filling the air. I always like to make those little sugar ones my daddy used to love. And those spicy of ginger snaps. And those special pecan wranglers we'd always get down in New Orleans. You know, when I was just a little girl, my daddy taught me each and every one of those recipes. We'd spend all day baking together. And then we'd wait up for Santa. And I always fell asleep before he got there, of course. But you know, every year, I got just what I needed.
prank is brought to you by Figgy Pudding. What is it? We don't really know. But we know you won't go until you get some. So try some today. Wait. Kermit, what is that on your head? Oh, oh, oh it's a Santa hat, Piggy. I know that. Where did it come from? If this show has costume changes, I think someone in wardrobe would have told more. Trust me, I know. Anyway, I just found this hat backstage. Well, that just won't do. I didn't have any time to accessorize between numbers, and I refuse to be upstaged. I could never upstage you, Piggy. Listen, how about I make it up to you by getting you a churro and a spirit jersey after the show? <laughs> That's when you got a deal. Done. Now we're talking. Aren't they just the best? <laughs> and now, as a special gift to all of you in our live studio audience, please give a warm welcome for our house band, the Jolly Eight! <laughs>
this one gets any deeper. Oh, wait till you see this, Minnie. TV special with all of you is a gift I will always cherish. I know what you mean. We're all creating memories, ones that we will cherish forever. And we're back in four, three, two. This time of year, the greatest gift we can give is something you won't find on a shelf. It's something we find in each other. Let's be honest, the world we live in can be a little more than chilly, but the belief that better days are coming that's what counts. Because the greatest gift of all is hope.
Great time here at Disney Holidays in Hollywood.